Hey guys, um, today I'll be showing you how to do a internet browser, web browser, whatever, um, with the YouTube search bar, regular search bar, all these buttons, it's pretty cool, it's pretty easy too. Um, so let's get started. You will need a program called Microsoft Visual Basic 2008 Express Edition, so uh, you can get it, it's free too. Um, click on new project, click on the first one, and make it into something else like um, LOL, whatever. Um, went to loads, okay, you need to expand this. Um, the first thing that you need to do is put a panel on it. Panel, 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 panel. Doesn't matter where you stretch it because um, it's going to actually expand itself which you need to click on the box here go to dock and then click on the top one Let's just say top over here it's gonna stay there it's not gonna go anywhere you can actually separate the um, the web browser and the actual buttons that's what it does then the next thing you're gonna do is go click on a web browser and you're gonna drag it right onto here um, that should automatically um, dock itself it's positioning itself to stay right there so no matter where no matter if you press here and it expands it's still gonna stay there okay so um okay um next thing you wanna do is put a bunch of buttons you're gonna need about seven buttons for this one okay so hold on one, two three four five six and seven alright Put it right here. Doesn't have to be in order. It could be whatever. I want to put them in order though. Or else it'll bother me. For like ever. Alright. Okay. Alright, next thing you're going to need is a text box. Now, text box is where you put all your URLs when you type it in. Okay. Put it right here. It should just like, it should just um, level itself to here too. So, um, you don't have to worry about that. Another text box. Put it here. And just expand that until it equals out. Okay, um, next thing you're going to do is change all the buttons. Make it say, make it say stuff like, let's see. This one we're going to rename it Go. Go. This one's going to be Home. This one's going to be Stop. This one, Refresh. This one's gonna be forward. Oops. And this one's gonna be back. This one you're gonna put like Google or whatever. Google it, whatever. Okay. Now this one you're actually gonna change it to say. Uh, you, you're gonna go up to the name and you're gonna delete everything except the W. You need a capital W there for the actual internet to work. Then you're gonna cl double click on go, okay? And you're gonna put W dot navigate, which should be here. You're better off double clicking on it, or else a little blue line will go under it. Then put text box one dot text okay and then um oops sorry see how much time okay then you're gonna double click on home w dot home go home sorry go home I'm gonna do this for every button w dot then it should say just stop right then W dot refresh W dot go forward and then this one 
w dot go back okay now this one's gonna be different this one you're gonna actually have to go to your actual internet browser for you to actually um, get that also um, while we're at it let's take this copy it. you you can put any link onto here too by the way um, like Google or whatever so every time it opens up it says it goes to google.com you have to click on the bottom one go to URL and paste your URL there okay add it um, let's go to google.com and then you're gonna search anything like go I would suggest you put it in capital letters so you can see it better um, then you're gonna copy and cut everything before go okay and that's gonna be where everything's going to go so you're gonna double click on Google you're gonna go to w dot navigate oops sorry navigate text box no oops sorry um, this parentheses then you're gonna type in the um, copy and paste I mean paste the URL there this is again and then that and then in there you actually have to um, in between that you're gonna have to put an and sign then you're gonna have to put text box two dot text and then it should be fine okay so um all right now we're done with that um okay for this up here also if you want to change the name um to let's say web browser um let that go and it'll say web browser up here for the icon you need to have you need to search them out in the internet um luckily i have one here of a little black earth there you go there's the earth um then that should be all um yeah so okay you go to for i'm going to show you how to do it, save it in dot exe file you're going to save you're going to save that then you're going to go to build and you're going to build it should say build succeed then publish you're going to name it say lol and then you're going to put finish okay you're going to exit out of this oops exit out of that and save then you put, just put save because it'll go straight to the to other folder then you're going to go to documents double click on double click on the thing that says the file that says visual studios 2008 and double click on projects then double click on the folder that you named it like lol name mine double click and then go to bin it should be in bin then click release and then it should have it right here it should say applications shouldn't be too big say so applications and then drag it onto your desktop close it and double click on it and there you go there's your internet browser you could put it bigger if you want smaller it doesn't matter I'll even show you google.com it'll go and boom there you go you can go home to then you go refresh stop stops it then go back still go forward google it I'll go to Google <laughs> and then it'll search Google so yeah basically I showed you how to do it, it works pretty good so um, this is my first video so thanks for watching